I just found this out. This is sad news. That new movie that looks horrible with Will Smith after Earth, Will Smith and his kid, it's directed and co-written by M. Night Shyamalan, the guy that did scientifically nice. the best movie of all time, The Sixth Sense. I don't want to see it. I told my, I just told uh, Catherine this, my fiance. I, I text her. I'm like, oh, look what I just learned. And she goes, well, I, it looks terrible. I still don't want to see it. And I go, yeah, I don't want to <laughs> see it. But if you make a movie that good, it'd be, not, it'd be nice to support him. I got five bucks. It says Will Smith is Jaden Smith. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's got to be some twist. He says, this is Earth. So it's not Earth after all? You know, I don't know. There's some video going around online. Uh, I guess you're getting interviewed for the movie about how they're like badasses in the movie. Right. And like a bug flies by and Jaden uh, Smith just freaks out. And like a little girl like, ah! ah! So, and like Will Smith has to it's like calm him down. It's like, it's uh, it's That's going fun. away. It's going away. It's like, ah! It's uh-huh. like run, and it's like, yeah, he's a real believable badass. Like right. this kid's supposed to be... Uh, you know, know what? On the, he's the Karate Kid guy, right? Yeah, the, the new one. The yeah. new one, yeah. He was good in that movie. I didn't see it. And, yeah, was I, it? Seen, I want. I don't want to like anything Will Smith anymore. Like I'm just. It, he's just too Why? shoved down our throats. You get what I'm saying? It's just a little too commercial, a little too much. The same way you don't drink Starbucks. Like you don't like Starbucks or I Apple. Didn't, mm, didn't say don't right. drink Starbucks. Or people that don't like <laughs> Applebee's. Don't like Applebee's. Like it's just too marketed to like that's how I, I just, feel about I think Will Smith. it's sweet. So far it looks like he's uh using his kids but in a in a in an okay way to sort of like open them up to this future of this thing that they want to do, but not completely throwing them to the dogs like a lot of kid actors. It's kind do. of weird. I saw it you can, online. You can see a couple of minutes of the movie for free and the credits come up and you hear whip my hair back and forth. <laughs> and you're like, all right, guys, you're really forcing this down our throat. But you know, no matter what, your parents are some of the most famous people in the world. I think they're dealing with it pretty well. Right. You know what? I used to love him when I was a kid, like uh, when it was... The Fresh Prince and uh, DJ Jazzy Jeff. Right. Like, I, I loved him. And then, like, it, just his songs were What happened so to DJ corny. Jazzy Jeff? Computers? He's a DJ. I, I think he's still out there he's DJing. DJing. Yeah. 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 But uh, they just got, like, as he got older, he just stuck with, like, the get jiggy with it and all that. It was just too corny and right. too... Wait, wait, know. wait. You're saying his early stuff was not too corny? But he was... 12 and 13 at There's the time. a nightmare on my street. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. See, I think, yeah, I think. Just Don't Understand was a great song. I think he was always that guy. I think he was always that guy. And I think when he got the opportunity to be something more than a, a rapper and something that's going to stay and an actor and a, a movie star, I think he took it seriously and, and learned everything he could about it and, and became the businessman that can, you know, stretch out what should have been a shitty rap career into this empire. His rapping is amazing. Come on, we're still living in the new millennium. Let's not forget it's, this. You ever uh, hear that song, No More Mr. Nice Guy or He's a Nice Guy? And it's Will Smith, and it looks like he's about to go off on Eminem, Wendy Williams, people that uh, talk shit about him. And But he keeps going like, Eminem, here it goes. I'm going to say what I, and, and I'm like, oh, you're going to shit on Eminem at the height of his career. This could really be something. Yeah, he goes, yeah. I really could to go off. I'm not going to. Mm. He's a nice guy. Yeah. Wendy Williams? Yeah. Oh, you're lucky I didn't make you the whole damn song. Here's another person. Yeah, but Wendy Williams, <laughs> in that song, he said, I'll buy your station and fire you. Right, but I, that's the hardest thing he says. But who, but who cares? Know? He never claims to be the hardest rapper, and that's as hard as he gets. And you know, well, he, I, he's to the me, one bringing he it wins. up. He wins. He wins. He wins. Like from start. And to that's finish. why I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> that's, he's my bully. <laughs> Does he win that he has to hide the fact he's homosexual? I don't think he's homosexual. Yeah, sums up. I think. I think. I think he'd be open <laughs> about it. No, it's his wife that's known for being a lesbian. Sums up. Sums uh, up. You heard it here. Three hundredths. Yeah, life, he stole his soul somewhere along the way. Like, nobody's life is that good and that perfect. Something's it just, happening.